hands in the air Cause you know how much he cares We are Dove Bible My name is Amelia Welcome to Dove Bible Club We hope you enjoy the show Hello parents Hello boys and girls Thank you for joining us this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We have an awesome, awesome, awesome episode planned for you today, so thank you for joining us. My name is Loretta Dozier. Are you ready to have a good time? Yeah! Are you ready to learn more about Jesus? Yeah! yeah. Thank you for the school year so far. I'm glad that Mimi, our little sister Amelia, will be starting kindergarten. I'm glad that everybody has a chance to go to school. I'm glad for those who are having a good time learning new things. And for those who need some more help, I hope that their teachers will give them the more help they need. In Jesus' name, amen. John 
on 316. Hey boys and girls, guess what? What's this? You're right, it's a Bible. Where's your Bible? Go and get your Bible because we're gonna use it in the lesson today. Go and get it. Is it in your backpack? Go and get it out of your backpack. Is it on your dresser? Go and get it. We're gonna use it. Go and get your Bible. And mom and dad, go and get your Bible as well. Boys and girls, let's pledge to the Bible. Say it with us. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Hey boys and girls, we have a song that we would like to share with you and teach you. It's the Bible song. How do you spell Bible? B-I-B-L-E. Spell it again for me. B-I-B-L-E. Yes. So here's the song. I'm going to give you a three count. One, two, three. Let's sing. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Bible. The Bible has 66 books. The Testaments, there are two. 39 books in the Old Testament and 27 in the New. God's word never fails, no, never fails, no, never fails, no. God's word never fails, no, no, no. God's word satisfies, yes, satisfies, yes. Satisfies, yes. God's word satisfies. Yes, 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 yes. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this short break. This ministry uh, really does do a great work of Christ, not only in Brevard County, but throughout Central Florida. And we're excited about Devil Bible Club. And we pray that you will not only pray about it, uh, getting involved, but you'll come see it. Our encouragement is that pastors not just see the promotionals, but that they actually come to a Dove Bible Club. When you are right there in the atmosphere, you, you feel the enthusiasm, you see the wonder of the children's eyes, you see their genuine love for Jesus, you see their hearts open for the Lord, and how God is building these strong, strong boys and girls for the Lord. We have a new song for you. It goes like this. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Come on. Down in my heart to stay. Now, boys and girls, you get to sing it with us. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Come on. One, two, three, go. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where down in my heart? Where down in my heart? I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Today's lesson is Jesus Heals a Paralyzed Man. Our scripture is Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And our character trait is forgiveness. Forgiveness. And again he entered Capernaum after some days, and it was heard that he was in the house immediately. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive him, not even near the door. And he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing in, bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him, him because of the crowd, they, just un, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they let down 
they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. And some of the scribes were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But immediately, when Jesus received in his spirit that they reasoned thus within him themselves, he said to them, Why do you reason about these things in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, Arise, take up your bed and walk. But that you may not, you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say, to, I say to you, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. Immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went on into the presence of them all, so that all were amazed and glorified God, saying. We never saw anything like this. Hey, boys and girls. Do you have friends? Do you have friends that help you out when you need help? That is good. Well, I have four friends here, or three friends, and I make four that will help us with this Bible lesson today. Here's what happened. Jesus, the Bible said that Jesus was coming back to Capernaum. Now, he had left Capernaum because, remember, he did miracles everywhere he went. And whenever he was around, he drew a lot of people, a crowd of people always followed him. So he had to leave Capernaum just to get away and have some quiet time and to go to some other villages. So now he's coming back to Capernaum. And these four friends of this paralyzed man heard that Jesus was coming back to town. And Jesus went to one of the friend's house, his friend's house, and all of the people heard that Jesus was coming back to town. So all of the people went to that friend's house, to, went to that person's house because they wanted to see Jesus. Maybe they thought they were going to see a miracle. Maybe they thought Jesus was going to heal somebody. And so they were very, very curious. But the Bible says Jesus was teaching the word of God and the place was crowded. The, the house was so full of people, nobody could get in there. Nobody could come through the front door. Nobody could come through the side door. It was packed. So this paralyzed man, remember, he was paralyzed. He couldn't walk. And his friends knew that the only person that could help him or heal him was Jesus. So they decided to take their friend to Jesus. So when they go to Jesus, lift that man up, they got, they got their friend. Oh yeah, we don't want him falling off the mat. That one, right? So they got their friend, they picked him up off of the mat, and they began going to the house. But when they got to the house, it was so crowded, they couldn't get in. The people wouldn't move out of the way to let them in. And they saw them, they saw them with a paralyzed man on a mat. But they didn't move because they wanted to hear Jesus teach and see what miracles Jesus did. So they decided, let's go around. They couldn't get in. So they got the man. They said, we're not going to give up. They got the paralyzed friend and they took the stairs on the top of the roof. Back then, houses were flat. And then they could walk up the stairs to go on the roof. And the roof was made of clay and sticks. So they got the mat, and the paralyzed friend is on the mat, and they began walking up the stairs. And they knew Jesus was in their teaching, so they began to take the roof apart. Take the roof apart. Take the roof apart. Take the roof apart. And then they made a big hole in the roof, and all of a sudden, they're up on the roof. They're up on the roof. They're up there on the roof. They took, took the, um, the sticks and the mud off the roof, and then they lowered the friend down through the roof 
right in front of Jesus. And the man was there right in front of Jesus. And Jesus is there teaching. And the people are wondering what's going on. And Jesus sees the man. And the Bible says Jesus sees their faith. They believe that Jesus is the only one that could heal this man. So that's why they didn't give up on their friend. So he's in front of Jesus. They lowered him down. Jesus saw the man, the paralyzed man on the mat. And he says to the man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. The man wants to walk. He's paralyzed. But Jesus says, son, he used a word of endearment, a word that shows that he cared about him, that he loved him. Son, your sins are forgiven. Because Jesus saw straight through to the heart of that paralyzed man. He knew he needed something much more than being healed and, and needing to walk. He knew he needed to be healed in his soul and his spirit. So he said, son, your sins are forgiven you. And then the people around said, who is he? Who does he think he is? Nobody can forgive sin but God. And Jesus knew what they were thinking. He saw in their hearts and he knew in their mind what they were thinking. And he looked at them and said, is it easier for me to say, your sins are forgiven or arise, take up your bed and walk. But so you'll know that I have the power to forgive sin. I'm gonna say to him, son, arise, take up your bed and go home. And the paralyzed man, he gets up, he takes up his mat, he rolls his mat up, and he goes home. He goes home. Jesus healed the paralyzed man physically, but more importantly, he healed his soul. He healed his soul. He healed his soul. He forgave him of his Sins. And the Bible said all of the people saw that miracle and they began rejoicing and praising God. Rejoicing and praising God. Rejoicing and praising God. So thank God for friends. God bless you. If you would like an activity sheet for this lesson, please go to DoveBibleClub.org. Hey, boys and girls, there are five different colors in the wordless book, and the colors are black, red, white, green, and gold. And the wordless book is just a way, a tool that we use to explain why Jesus had to come to earth. He had to come to earth to die on the cross to forgive us of our sin. And what is sin? Sin is when you know to do right and you don't do it. Say it with me, boys and girls. Sin is when you know to do right and you don't do it. The first color in the wordless book is darkness or it's black and it stands for sin. And the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The next color in the wordless book is red. And the red color stands for the blood of Jesus. The holy, precious blood of Jesus. Sinless blood of Jesus. And 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4 says, Christ died according to the scriptures and he was buried and he was raised from the dead according to the scriptures. Remember, now when Jesus died on that cross, he didn't do anything wrong. He was dying for us. He was dying as he took the punishment for our sin. Remember, they beat him. He wore that crown of thorns. They pierced him in his, in his wrist. They pierced him in his side 
blood and water came out. When he wore that crown of thorns, blood and water came out. They spit on him. They plucked his beard. They, they, they slapped him. He did all of that. And he took all of that punishment for us when he took our sins upon himself and he died on the cross for you and me. And he shed his holy, his sinless, and his precious blood so that we can have an opportunity to be part of God's family again, so that we can be reconciled to God. The next color is white. Psalm 51, 7 says, wash me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be white as snow. So white stands for born again. Once you ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, guess what? He does. He does. The light of God shines in on your heart by his Holy Spirit. God himself the Holy Spirit comes to live in your heart and you are born again. You are a new creature in Christ. The next color is green. 2 Peter 3.18 says grow. Green stands for grow. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. But how do you grow spiritually? You read your Bible? You go to church, you pray, you obey your parents, boys and girls, and you know, of course, you have to come to Dove a Bible Club. And the last color is gold. Revelation 21, 21 says, the streets of heaven are paved in gold, just like it was transparent glass. So those are the five colors in the wordless book. You have darkness, stands for sin, red, the blood of Jesus, white, a clean heart or born again, green, grow, and gold, the streets of heaven. If you would like a wordless book bracelet, go to DoveBibleClub.org. Parents and boys and girls, we always want to give you an opportunity to accept Jesus' forgiveness, to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Remember in our lesson today, Jesus told the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven you. And that's why Jesus came. So let me pray with you so you can receive his forgiveness. You can receive salvation. Pray with me, say, Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for shedding your holy, your sinless blood for me. You died in my place, you were buried, and on the third day, God raised you from the dead. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I receive you today, Jesus. I receive you today. I receive your forgiveness. I receive you today as my Savior. Your word says if I confess with my mouth, mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead, I will be saved. So I confess and I believe I receive today salvation, faith in you. And I receive salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, boys and girls, if you said that prayer, guess what? We want to know about it. If you said that prayer to invite Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that is the best And the Bible says angels are rejoicing in heaven. So let us know. Email us at doveabibleclub.org and we will send you a resource to grow, to help you grow in your relationship with Jesus Christ. Here's your blessing for today. 
the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I work at a public school at a charter school and along with some of the staff we were talking about starting a Bible club and then we looked we were looking for resources and we came across Loretta and she was already doing it so we connected with Loretta to see what we could do to bring it to Royal Palm Charter School. Thanks for joining us we'll see you next time! for joining us. We are Dove Bible Club. Dove Bible Club has been sharing the good news of Jesus Christ in elementary after school clubs since 2008. The students get to sing, dance to the Lord, read the Bible, pray, meet new friends, and hear an amazing story about the love of Jesus Christ. If you would like more information about Dove Bible Club, just go to DoveBibleClub.org slash TV. That's DoveBibleClub.org slash TV. Yeah. <laughs> 